another vlog so you guys we are finally um hanging or uh hanging or how do you say adding some drapery or curtains to the second floor I don't even know why I got this fleece on because the dashboard is saying 60 degrees, but I'm having a little tickle in my throat, so we're just going to go with the flow. But anywho, we are finally adding um, some drapery to the floor, the second floor, actually. Um, so, of course, um, your girl is the queen of returns <laughs> y'all know in a previous vlog I always say if it doesn't work in the space why hold on to it let's just return it and get our money back right so I have to return two items that I purchased from Amazon and I'll return them to um, Kohl's um, in addition to um run into Target to get um, a different set of rods that I initially thought was going to work for the two windows that's facing the front but the rods are too too small or too short um, for the width of the window so now your girl is taking a trip back to Target for the hundreds, hundreds, fifty eleventh time. <sighs> Y'all, I, I feel like I need to get a part-time part time job at Target because I'm literally there like, they probably know me by now, but not, not necessarily, not necessarily know me by now, but because I go to maybe about three different Targets because some other Targets may have something in stock. And another target may not have it in stock. So it's one particular tar target that's like at like on my favorite list that I really can go to. And they always have stuff in stock. But speaking about having stuff in stock, for me since um since COVID has came and and gone or is still like here. It's not going, it's still out there. But, so. um, as far as COVID being here, like I feel like going to the stores to shop or just to like browse is not the same. It is not the same. Like comment below if you guys have a different experience when you go to stores now and you're trying to shop. To me, it is not the same because you gotta watch your back you gotta make sure nobody's watching you like times have like really changed and i really like enjoy going to the stores you know spending a little day out shopping grabbing a bite to eat but now it's like when i get there i'm just over it i'm just irritated they don't ever have nothing on the shelves the stores you know and i know it's a shortage for staffing and people that have jobs in the retail industry it's a shortage right now and that's taking a hit everywhere but if that place is not like not i'm not saying top organized but like stuff thrown everywhere like i cannot take it it just does something to me i just can't do it i just can't deal with it so now i've been more accustomed to online shopping now, online shopping has pros and cons for me because the pro is, as of everyone knows, Amazon Prime, uh, you got your two-day shipping for all Prime items, but a con is, like, if I don't read the reviews thoroughly, like, thoroughly, I'll get the item, and I'm just like, this is not 
this is not what y'all said it was supposed to give. It's not giving that. Like, and then I gotta take it back to Kohl's. So, and I'm the type of person like to be hands on. Like, I want to see the product, touch the product before I purchase it. Versus not really taking a How risk. How may I help you? Oh, cancel. I'm fairly certain that I'm correct. Versus taking a risk and not being able to like, um, not being able to like actually get the item and like really fall in love with it. So Amazon has become my best friend because all I do is add the cart, click it, and <laughs> say your package will be here or your package is in, in route. So taking away from like actually going out and shopping that whole experience, which I really enjoy, it's not the same. It's different y'all. It's different. Comment down below if you guys have experiences where you just become accustomed to online shopping and I mean I guess it's the way the world is like as far as the retail industry is just everything's online people want it instantly like I just miss the whole um, ordeal of just going out and having a good day and just like shopping <laughs> cause now child them stores be they they a whole mess. They be having stuff everywhere. I I'll just be like, uh uh, let me just go online and get it. Or if I'm in a store and I see something and it's out of stock, I'll just like go online and Google it or go under Google shopping. And of course it takes me right back to Amazon on shopping online. Hey guys, but that's gonna be home. in and out of there and back home. Okay, so good. Okay, guys, so drop off uh, for return at Kohl's was a success. We did it. Although I did pick up a couple, not a few, a couple is two. Um, a couple items for my grandmother. She needed some uh, gifts to give uh, to a couple people. So I picked that up for her. This one is gleaming. Y'all know I'm a plant mom, and this just breaks my heart. Seeing all these faux plants, like, it don't take that much to have a plant and let it thrive, y'all. All these faux plants in here, look at them. You will not catch a faux plant in my home. We got real plants, and I'm a real plant my mom, and I'm sensitive about my stuff. All oh, these faux plants. Look at this. Faux plant. Mm -mm. Nope. Team Row Plant Mom over here. I need black finish. Not the bronze. Not the bronze finish. But the black finish. And this is a 36 to 66. I think I need I need two of these. And look at this, y'all. The last two. Y'all, we literally just got done with Christmas and now it's bathing suit swimwear season already. Like, this makes me happy because not that I'm over Christmas, but I'm ready for some sun and the fun. Uh, oh my God. Like, this makes me so excited. This is where I try to talk myself down, you guys, off the ledge because <laughs> somehow my cart just slowly like ventures off somewhere else so now i'm mentally telling myself leah you don't need that you don't need this just keep forging ahead to check out because you came in here for two items i'm trying to stay focused y'all help me navigate to this register okay pray for me Okay, so today's the next day, and I am super excited because today is the day where we are actually going to have the curtains installed that were ordered from Amazon that I heard so much great reviews on uh, via TikTok. So, let me just give you guys a quick um, 
look at the window treatments without curtains. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so you guys know we have two windows that are not side by side, but they are in the living room area. And we have a TV and fireplace centered. Um, so the two windows, since the window is 75 as far as uh, the width between, I think I'm going to just do um, just a one panel uh, facing the left side, which will be here. And then the other panel will be facing the right side of this uh, panel here or curtain or window treatment here. Being as though I don't want to put two panels on the one window because it's so close to the TV right here. I'm just going to do a curtain rod at the top. I'm not doing I have my handyman coming. One rod at the top and then one panel to the left. One rod at the top to the right hand side or your left hand side on the screen. And then the one uh, panel to the right of that. <clears throat> now, I got from Amazon. I got the um, the curtain rings also from Amazon. Let me just show you. So Target had these, but they were only in a pack of seven. And on Amazon, these come in a pack of uh, 14 rings, as well as the bre brush, brushed, <laughs> brushed nickel. This also comes in a pack of 14. <clears throat> Sorry. Please don't pay me no mind. Like, I am have like a little sore throat coming down with something. Okay, so the uh, other window treatment is a double window that faces our dining room table. Um, you guys probably seen this in previous vlogs, but this will also get a rod as well. Um, this will be the brush nickel rod and I ordered three panels total. So I'll have one to the left, a middle panel, and then a right sided panel here. Um, the length on the panels are, I'll show you the panels in the next clip, but the length on the panels are 95 or 96, I believe. So I want my curtains or my panels to actually just kiss the floor, not really like lie on the floor because it's just a preference for me. But hopefully um, these will be hung up so you guys can see the final results. But um, yeah, so this window will be done in addition to the uh, two front windows. So I'm going to show you guys um, in the next clip the actual panel. Super fast. So these are the panels. Give you guys. These are the panels guys and the length of the curtain is the width is 50 and the length is 96. So yeah, this color, I believe might be like a birch or a tweed. It's definitely a neutral uh, color. Um, I did open up one of the panels and this panel is really, really thick. Like this may be a dupe to um the paneling that i saw at was it pottery barn pottery barn yes pottery barn either crate and barrel but this is really thick these are the dark uh room panels this is it um inside of the panel super thick you, this camera probably is not doing any justice the thickness of this and it has the actual pleats inside which i'll do the actual um hook and go here um but these are like super thick and I think it's going to look really really good um once we get them hung up but yeah the texture the quality is really really nice these are good quality so I'm just trying to show if it, it may not I may not be able to catch it on camera let me just pull up this um oh but let me talk about the window treatments itself so these are the top down uh bottom up uh window treatments that we had installed when we first moved in the home um we got these from blinds to go and i, I don't want to say they're inexpensive because we had to pay for uh the actual blind itself as well as the insula installation uh service that we had got done and our home has a total of um three floors and a total of 10 windows uh, in total. So it was very pricey, you know, depending on you guys' budget, it is pricey. But I think at the end of the day, it is well worth it because 
Um, I'm a person who enjoys natural light. Like I just love the house being open and airy and that natural light coming through. So this was like a no brainer. Why not get the top down, bottom up um, blinds? So the drapery, <clears throat> drapery is expensive. Let me just say that. And it doesn't get any better because of the length. So I want um, these to be kind of hung, like I said before, to kind of kiss the floor. Um, so they're going to either go up maybe three or four inches down from the ceiling. So hopefully um, these will be hung correctly and I can give you guys pretty much an update of how the process went and then you guys will see the before as well as the after. Um, so they just showed up. Of course, it's at the six o'clock, but it's getting down. I got to find the other hook. through the end of his term, including a $0 federal tax bill in 2020 as his businesses struggle. Six hours later. This is when you vlog and you forget to vlog the results. I'm so sorry, guys. Forgive my mind, not my heart. I forgot to show you guys the final results of the curtains that were hung. This is like <laughs> so many days late, but I'm showing you guys now. It came out so good. I'm so happy with the results. That little hole, I'm going to get some um, caulk to kind of fill in them holes up there because they had to. Originally, when they actually installed the paint, the um, rod, it was too low. And we have the heat and vents there, which you can see. The heat vents need to be open so airflow can come up. You guys know that. I mean, um, but I had to, myself, I had to rearrange the rides to make it higher because they were too low like it was just it wasn't giving me what i was looking for so that's been done and then this is the final result looks so good i'm so excited i'm so happy with the results so yeah these are the panels that were in amazon fine um and then the rods i got from target love it Okay, guys, and here is the dining room area. Again, these are in the birch color, another Amazon find that was on Amazon. I will try to link both panels and rides in the actual curtain rings um, in the description of this video. Yeah, so everything turned out really nice. Um, this particular um, uh, hung of the curtains in the rod. I didn't have to go back and do it over. They hung it up correctly, so I was super satisfied with this. So I hope you guys like